Hey, yo, 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 peeps, how you all getting on? This is your boy, Popsy, from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Die Play soundbar. So let's roll the intro. Welcome back. So in recent years, there's probably not a household that doesn't have some kind of audio cinema system at home. And the popularity with soundbars or cinema systems has grown in popularity. I would say that most households throughout the world either have one of the two. Diplay did send me the soundbar for a review and test. However, all the opinions are going to be mine. So with that being said, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. There's going to be plenty of reviews just for you. Also, please do not forget to check the timestamps below that'll help you navigate through the video. So let's start with the unboxing and see what comes in the box. So it comes in this long rectangular cardboard box and straight out of the box, you obviously get the die plate a sound bar. So the die plate sound bar comes with eight accessories to meet all your needs. You get the remote controller, not forgetting the two AAA batteries that are for the remote controller. You also get the HDMI arc cable. Along with that, you get the optical cable and you get one audio cable and the RCA 3.5 millimeter cable and not forgetting the DC adapter and a very useful manual guide. Just looking into the box, you get enough accessories and multiple link methods and the sound bar can work with almost all your devices. So at the time of filming this video, you get the sound bar, including the eight accessories, all for around the £90 mark in the UK. Let's go and have a deeper look into the sound bar and some of its features in more depth. So the die play soundbar links up with Bluetooth 5.0 and USB. It's a built-in dual speaker system. It's a 31 inch soundbar for TV. So something that a lot of people haven't mentioned about this soundbar is a two year replacement and lifetime technical support. It has a 2.1 surround sound channel configuration and the speaker's maximum output level is 120 watts. You can either control it with the provided remote control or the switches on the right hand side of the soundbar. Bar. It's quite an elegant looking soundbar coming with this black glossy finish wrap. The dimensions are 30.7 inches long and 2.4 by 2.4 inches tall. At the bottom of the soundbar there's some kind of rubber silicon feet to protect whatever surface it sits on. Moving on to the rear of the soundbar we have these mounting points which also have some rubber foam padding giving protection to whatever surface you decide to put the soundbar onto. It has this black shiny gloss finish. The speakers are hidden behind this well designed metal mesh grill. On the right hand side of the soundbar you have these button controls which include from top to bottom the power button, the audio source input button, the volume reduction and then finally at the bottom you have the volume increase and next button. Let's go and have a look at some of the connectivity options the soundbar gives. On the right hand side of the soundbar, there's a number of different available connections, which include USB, an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter port, an optical cable port, a power port for firing the soundbar up. On the adjoining side, you have a HDMI arc connection, a TF port, or some call it a micro SD port. So let's go and fire up the die play soundbar. Once the soundbar is connected to the power supply, it's going to give you this red LED indicator to say it's on standby. With that all being said, let's go and connect it to the 5.0 Bluetooth and I'm going to connect it to my iPhone 13. So the remote control has a Bluetooth button to press and connect with the soundbar. Let's go and connect the soundbar with my iPhone and let's go and see what happens there. So I'm going to press the soundbar button now and you get this robotic type female voice that says Bluetooth connected that it's now connected and just looking on the iPhone now you can see from the connected arrow that my iPhone 13 is connected to the soundbar and now I'm going to be moving the volume all the way up
The soundbar has four different EQ mode settings, which get announced by this very robotic voice. They are music, movies, news, and games. Let's go and hear what they sound like. Movie. Music. News. Game. Each of the different auxiliary options gives you an LED indicator to let you know which type of connectivity you're into, whether it's a USB, Bluetooth, or a HDMI. Here is the example. Bluetooth. Connected. Optical fiber. Please insert HDMI. Please insert USB. No SD card. Line in. Another great feature that comes with the DiePlay soundbar is that when you press mute once, it will mute the music. And if you give it a couple of second press, it gives you the option of turning the LED lights off if it's annoying for you. I personally do like having the LEDs on. Just lets me know what auxiliary mode I'm in. The quality of the different mode buttons on the end of the soundbar, surprisingly, they're pretty good. So let's start wrapping things up. What did you guys think of the soundbar? Is it something for you? If it is, drop your comments below. So let me give you some of my final thoughts and let's go and look at some of the pros. All in all, I think it's a very well built soundbar. Aesthetically, it looks great. I do like this black glossy finish that is all the way around and especially the metal mesh grill that it comes with. On your TV stand or under your TV stand, this is gonna look pretty cool. As well as being a very loud device, it comes with a great bunch of useful features. For me, the price is on point at 90 pounds in the UK. As you've already seen, it's a plug and play system. Another great touch for me on the soundbar was the roaming LED indicators to let you know which mode you're switching. I think that was so useful. And if you didn't like it, you can hold the mute button down for several seconds, which will switch those LED indicators off. Something I really liked was being able to connect my mobile phone to listen to my music or choice of my music via the Bluetooth option that the DiePlay soundbar offers. Does the DiePlay soundbar have any cons? And in my opinion, yes, it does. Let's go and have a look. For me, I'm a massive bass lover and I think one of the shortfalls of the die plate soundbar is, is the lack of bass that this soundbar gives. Yes, the mids and trebles go quite high in frequencies and in loudness levels. Just to finish off the soundbar, if it had a little bit more bass, I think I'd enjoy it. I think the clarity of the soundbar can be improved upon. And finally, I love the look of the soundbar, but however, that glossy, shiny finish, as good as it looks to me, and I do really like it, it is prone to dust. Would I recommend the soundbar to yourselves? Absolutely, yes. It's something that I can carry around, take it camping, take it anywhere I want, and all I need to do is have a power supply to connect it to a Bluetooth, and I could just use it as an audio source. If you're looking at enhancing the sound quality of your TV, I would definitely seriously look at getting the soundbar. Hopefully, you found the video useful today, and if you did, leave your comments down below. And that's all you're gonna get from me for today. Hit the like button if you like the video, or smash it if that's something you into subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you next week bye